June 7th, the thong has opened up a portal for us. Sound tethers our hearts to hope. Just sound. August 2nd, he said, I love you too. And months after me having blurted it out in a hug, startling both of us, he said, I love you too. I replied, startled, just like that? He said, calmly, yep, just like that. August 7th, softening at my animated face, you move into tender. I hadn't realized I could do that. I see it now in your easy eyes. So I find the quickest pause and hurry to curl up on your collar. Your arms pull me closer and we are tender together. We are quiet as a pulse. September 2nd. When her and I play basketball after dinner, I think about how it was your idea to buy the hoop. How you came to my house from the mountains and put it together before she came home from my mom's. How you wanted to make sure we had a plan for when the ball went over the fence into the alley. Tell her you'll buy another ball right then if she loses it. She can't want to go into the street to get it. I think about all of that and wish you were here. Then she makes a six point shot and reminds me that you'd do the best alley-oop if you were here. October 28th. The last days of October are frozen and thaw, frozen and thaw. The images of you stop and start like the weather. Looking out the window at melting snow after wiping the steam clean from its pain because dinner is on the stove. I think how I shoveled at breakfast. Looking out the window at frozen footprints, readying for the transformation of the melt, I know that I love like the last days of October, and the thaw is so warm, it reminds me of how all this works. November 15th. The way it feels to lie next to you and to not is light and glare. Illuminated or startled so as to look away, my heart is bound by each mile we are apart. Memory is a jolt, a tight squeeze. In your presence, your presence is release.